All right, hi everybody, how's it going? And welcome to another video. Now I'm here today at a very famous location, famous in Wild West history. This is the location in Springfield, Missouri, where Wild Bill Hickok fought his famous duel against Davis Tut. Now, that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Now, one thing I've noticed, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of videos or a whole lot of people talking about this history. And I don't know why, because this was actually the first known and documented shootout in Wild West history. So just some uh, background info as to what happened. This uh, started, well, supposedly... You know, after the Civil War, Wild Bill Hickok had come out west. So did Davis Tut. Davis Tut had fought on the side of the Confederacy, as where Wild Bill Hickok was a Union scout. And kind of created sort of an unusual circumstance where you had these guys who formerly were enemies in the American Civil War, but some of them did become friends when they came out west. Anyways, what happened, this duel was said to have been fought over a woman initially. That was the thing that sort of strained the relationship. While Bill Hickok came to Springfield, Missouri, his sole income at this time was as a gambler. And I guess Davis taught probably the same thing. What had happened was Davis Tut claimed Wild Bill Hickok owed him $35 in gambling debts. Wild Bill Hickok claimed that no, it was only $25. And, uh, you know, dispute happened as a result of this. And what then happened was Davis Tut grabbed Wild Bill Hickok's European style pocket watch right off of the table. And took this and said, I'm going to hold this as collateral until you pay me back. And uh, what then happened was, well, Bill Hickok was gambling and Davis Tut was trying to help and encourage the guys that Hickok was gambling against. Hickok was doing good, got some money, paid Davis Tut $40 for a prior debt, money that he had owed him. However, he had still owed him a little bit more money, but uh, well, Bill Hickok wouldn't pay it. He said he had already paid what he owed. And uh, as a result of this, like I said, Davis took this watch and was going to keep it for collateral until, well, Bill Hickok paid it back. He wore this around this town square that you see in front of you. And he, for several days, he would wear this, kind of trying to get Wild Bill Hickok into some sort of an altercation. Wild Bill Hickok had several opportunities to try to end this, even had a beer, a drink with Davis Tut. He thought it was done, but Davis Tut was still carrying around this watch. Finally, Wild Bill Hickok said, if I see you carry this watch anymore, I'm going to shoot you. So Wild Bill Hickok was kind of in a situation where he sort of had to defend his own honor. And uh, if Davis Tut listened to Wild Bill Hickok and didn't carry the watch around, he was sort of um, bowing to, you know, Hickok's terms. So it was kind of an ugly situation all the way around. But it was one of the few instances where in the Wild West where they stood 75 feet away. They drew their guns and it's not really known who fired first. There were only a few witnesses, but uh, supposedly uh, Davis Tutt had fired. He missed Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill Hickok shot Davis Tutt in the chest. His final words were, boys, I'm killed. He then stumbled upon the steps of the courthouse and then walked toward the square that you see right before you and then died. So I did want to talk about this, you know, because this is pretty famous. Now, the aftermath of this was that uh, 
Wild Bill Hickok got off because there was an unwritten law of a fair fight at the time. And in addition to that, it had appeared that Wild Bill Hickok had given Davis Tut several opportunities to end the dispute, but he didn't take it. And, you know, in addition to that, it did look like Davis Tut fired first. So while Bill Hickok was acquitted by a jury, he got off. And uh, some people were unhappy with that. Some people actually wanted to lynch him at the time, although that didn't happen. A writer for Harper's Weekly had approached Wild Bill Hickok and began writing about the event, about what had happened. And that's really what cemented the legend of Wild Bill Hickok was this series of articles in Harper's Weekly because it was a very popular magazine at the time. And he became famous after that. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because you see this kind of thing in a lot of the Western movies and whatnot. And very rarely did it really happen where they both stood 75 feet away, met at high noon, drew their pistols at about the same time. Very rarely did that actually happen. So just thought I'd talk about that. If you watch this video, as always, I thank you for watching.